Hello, my name is David Kersley. I'm a certified SOLIDWORKS ac application engineer. And in this quick tip video, we will be discussing the compare tool to compare model geometry and drawing revisions. The compare tool is found at the top of the screen at the tools. Click on compare and we can either do compare drawings, documents, features, or geometry. In this exercise, we want to compare two geometry models. We want to compare a previous revision to the current revision we just received. So I'm going to click on geometry. Our control panel over on the right is now going to ask us for a couple things. It's going to ask us for a reference document and a modified document. If I click on it, there's nothing in that window. But over to the right, there's a little square with three dots. And if we click on that square with the three dots, it's going to ask us to go find those uh, files. I've already created and stored these in a current folder. So I'm going to open Rev 1.0 or the previous revision. When I go back over to the right, I'm going to click on that box under the modified document. And I'm going to click on the latest revision, or in this case, Rev 2.0. I want to compare model geometry, and I want to align the parts about the global coordinate system for each part. And I'm going to click on Run Comparison. And what we do, we'll notice that SOLIDWORKS opens both revision 1.0 and 2.0. And over on the left side, I have the feature tree for part one. And the feature tree, again, is for feature um, uh, revision two. So I can kind of look at both of those uh, side by side. And we'll notice that both of these parts are in blue. If I hold my mouse and uh, just point and drag, um, both models are rotating at the same time. And they're blue. And that's because over on the right, we have this, uh, notice this little all-seeing all eye. Uh, this icon here is blue, light blue. And it's blue, and it's saying, hey, what are the common values or the common volumes between these two parts? I'm going to uncheck that eye. And notice that they kind of become a little translucent. And what I want to look at is the difference between the two. Is there any material that was added or removed from these two parts? So I'm going to click on this one. Uh, the eye next to the materials to remove, and I'm going to click on the eye next to or to the left of material to add over here on the right. And what I notice is that there's some faces in here that are different. And what it tells me is if I want to make model one to match model two, I actually have to remove some material from these two surfaces here. And if I was to match model one, uh, two back to one, what I would have to actually do is add some material. So it tells me that they've changed this keyway. And I can look over in my feature tree and I can see that main disk, I got all these match up, but there's also one feature over here called draft keyway. And so they've added some draft to the keyway. So now that we've uh, looked at how to compare the models, we are gonna wanna go in and compare our drawings. So I'm just gonna close these out. And I'm going to go to Tools, and we're going to do Compare, and we're going to do a Drawing Compare, or Draw Compare. And when we do, our, our little Draw Compare uh, menu comes up, and it says up at the top, Drawing 1, which is going to be our, preview, our, our uh, revision prior to the one we just received. And then we've got Drawing 2. And these little color box, will basically what they're going to do is they're going to overlay each other. And any difference between the two drawings, whether it's a, a text or a dimension or a part or a feature, it's actually going to highlight it with these two colors. And we can change that. If I click on this, our little palette, uh, color palette pops up. I'm just going to change this to red, show you how easy it is. And when I pick Browse, this is automatically going to go back to where these two drawings are stored. And I'm going to click um, Drawing 1 is going to be Revision 1, and my Drawing 2 is going to be my revision two or the latest drawing we received. And when we do that, um, it's now going to ask us, hey, how do we get these to compare? So up here at the top, we have things like zoom to fit, uh, zoom to area we'll use. We're going to create a little bounding box and zoom in. And this little icon right here, if you have your mouse over it, it says compare drawings. And when we click on that, what it's going to do is it's going to actually open both drawings in the background. And then what it's actually going to do is overlay the two drawings over top of each other and begin to look for any differences between the two. And any of the differences will appear in either a red or a blue. And so we can see here, these are the differences between the two drawings. And down here on the left, you can see drawing one. And on the right, you can see drawing two. So let's create 
click on this uh, zoom to area, and I'm going to create a little bounding box just around this feature up here to the right that's highlighted in red. And when I do, I can see that this one now has some text added to it. And if I look at drawing one, and I've got drawing two, I can see that, oh, okay, the difference is we've added a revision to our, our drawing. Cool. So if we click on this one, up at the top left, we want to zoom to fit. Let's zoom in on this little area right here. This seems to be something going on in the center of our drawing. So I'm going to make a little bounding box around that center. And what we can see is we've got an overlay. There's, it looks like the dimension of uh, 0.50 has been moved. And it looks like uh, a dimension of two degrees of ang a draft angle has been added to the drawing where it wasn't before. And you can tell, again, the red is associated with revision two and the blue is with revision one. And of course, if we compare these two drawings down here on the bottom right and the bottom left, we can see, um, okay, that maybe this dimension got moved, but also this dimension was added on, on here. So that's a quick, easy way to kind of compare your model geometry and your, and your, and your drawings. Uh, this has been David Kersley with Go Engineer. I hope you found this SolidWorks tutorial helpful and useful. Please check out our YouTube video library or enroll in one of our online or in-class training courses at goengineer.com.